Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. Problem that says the man uses a hand truck to move material up the step. If the truck and its contents have a mass of 50 kilograms with a center of gravity at G, determine the normal reaction on both the wheels and the magnitude and direction of the minimum force required at the grip B needed to lift the load. So basically what they're asking is they're asking for the force needed to move the hand truck and they're asking for the reactions at A now to, to, to be able to lift it. So at A, you only have a horizontal reaction because at the point where you're lifting it, you don't have a reaction, uh, a vertical reaction anymore. So A only has a horizontal reaction. We're going to call F of A. Now, the, the force, what do you got to understand about this force? Let me draw it as accurately as I can so you guys can visualize it. The force is acting parallel to this line. Okay? That basically means that it has an X component and a Y component. And this angle right here is 60 degrees, just like this angle right here, which means that this angle, I'm going to draw all these angles over here, this is 30 degrees, and this is 60 degrees. This is going to be important. Um, okay, so now that we have our free body diagram, oh, let me not forget the weight, which is what's making everything difficult, which is the weight. So, you know that the weight is 50 kilograms times the acceleration of gravity, which is 9.81 meters per second squared. So the weight is equal to 490.5 newtons. And we're trying to find F of A. We're trying to find F. So let's do some of the forces in the Y direction first. It's equal to zero. And this is equal to, let's call this, um, this is F, right? So let's call this F of B of Y and F of B of X. F of B of Y is going up and the weight is going straight down and there's no other force. That's why we're doing F of Y first because it's easy to find it. So F of B of Y is equal to the weight so f of p of y is equal to 490.5 newtons. Look at that, we got one already right off the bat. Now let's do, assume a kind of clockwise is positive, some of the moments about a is equal to zero. And this is gonna be a, a bit of a long one, but you gotta bear with me. So I'm gonna actually don't grab the usual axis. I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna actually tilt it at the same angle that the hand card is at, okay? And I'm gonna start right here at A. Let me actually, I know I can do this somehow. There you go. Should make it much easier for you guys to see. So, let's see what's creating a, a moment uh, about A. So let's start with F of B of X. So f of b of x is creating a moment about a and it is equal to it has a projection that is parallel to this line and a projection going straight up that is parallel to this line right so this angle right here is 30 degrees and actually i'm going to redraw this whole bit right here so this bit, I'm gonna redraw right down here. And I'm basically saying that I have a force. The force has an X component and a Y component. That's what I was saying, F of B of Y. This is F of B 
and this is f of b of x and i'm saying that this is 60 degrees because of this right here this is 30 degrees so this right here is 30 degrees right and it's the this is the projection of f of b of x along a parallel line this way and then it also has a projection going up which is parallel to that and that's what i'm writing here so that projection is f of b of x cosine of 30 times 1.3 now why 1.3 because it's the distance from here all the way to here which is given by 0.4 plus 0.5 plus 0.4 that's 1.3 now this force this projection going up is also generating a moment and that projection is equal to f of b of x times the cosine of 60 because of what i drew right here this angle right here times the distance of 0.1 why 0.1 because that's the distance from here to here in other words the distance from here to here is given by 0.2 minus 0.1 given right here and it is negative because it's trying to turn the whole unit clockwise we're just getting started with this this equation guys so now let's go to the y component of which is this component right here now this component has two projections it has a projection going straight up right here and a projection going this way right here and you know this angle is 60 degrees because this is 30 this is 60. so f of b of y i'm going to write it down right here f of b of y cos sine of 30 which we're doing this projection right here times point one which is the same distance right here it's actually happening at the same spot so and this is negative because it's also trying to turn it clockwise then we have f of b of y times the cosine of 60 which is this projection right here which will be a projection right here times 1.3 but this is negative because it's also trying to turn it clockwise and now we have the moments caused by the weight which have a projection going this way and a projection going that way you know that this is 60 degrees and you know that this is 30 degrees right so the weight times the cosine of 60 times the distance from here to here which is 0.4 and it's positive because it's trying to turn the unit counterclockwise and last but not least is the weight times the cosine of 30 which is the other projection this projection times the distance from here all the way to here which is 0 0.4 plus 0 0.1 which is 0 0.5 and this is negative because it's trying to turn the unit clockwise so this is our big equation where we can plug in uh, a bunch of values that we have. We know we have the weight, so we can plug in the weight. And we also found f of b of y, so we can plug in f of b of y. And that leaves only f of b of x as the variable. So let's solve for that. 0 is equal to 1.126 f of b of x minus 0.05 f of b of x minus 0 0.0866 uh, f of b of y minus 0.65 f of b of y plus 98.1 minus 212.39 i'm running out of space that says 212.39 Skip solving, 0 is equal to 1.076. I added the f of b of x together. Minus 0.7366 f of b of y. Minus 114.29. Plug in f of b of y. We get 0 is equal to 1.076 f of b of x. 
minus 361.3 minus 114.29 so f of b of x is equal to 442 newtons okay so now that we have f of b of x and we have f of b of y also we can find the magnitude of f which is given by f of b of x square plus f of b of y square all square rooted that's a square i swear so the magnitude of f um is going to be equal to 660.27 newtons and the angle that it is at is equal to the tangent inverse of f of b of y over f of b of x which is equal to 47.98 degrees now what is the last thing that we have to find the um, reaction at a so some of the forces in the x is equal to zero and oh, we actually found this before oh no we didn't okay so we have that f of a going to the right minus f of b of x so f of b of x is equal to f of a which means that f of a is equal to 442 newtons as well so final answer for that reaction final answer for the magnitude and f of b of y the y component of f and f of b of x final answer